Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a, a new bottle, no, uh, a bottle from a well-known distillery but from a new proprietor. It's the Bladnock Samsara 46.7 ABV, roughly 80 euros, dollars, pounds and it was matured in ex-bourbon casks and California red wine casks. Ha, oh, Bladnock. There's a lot to tell you about the Lowland distillery, Bladnock. Bladnock was founded in 1817, well before most of the distilleries in the Highlands, because the ban of malt whiskey distilling or of whiskey distilling in the Highlands, because most of that was illegal distillation. Uh, was lifted in 1823, 1824, and most of the distilleries got their license in 1824. But this ban only belonged to the highlands, not to the islands or the lowlands. Because the lowlands and the islands, uh, they were able to control better, so that there was no, not so much illegal distillation. And so uh, Bladnor was founded in 1817, and this is the 200 years anniversary bottle of Bladnor. Bladnor um, was no typical lowland distillery because they use two pot stills. And uh, after the, well, the first big recession in 1979 of the British uh, industry, well, they were able to survive that. But with the upcoming years, uh, the optimization of the distillation process took place everywhere and Bladnock was just too far away from the centers of the whiskey production. So they were in the very far southwest of Scotland, very remote. Uh, so it was very expensive to produce there. So the former proprietors, United Distillers, they decided to close the distillery down. And I was able to visit the distillery in 1994, I think. Um, and at that time, the pot stills were still in place. The, the, uh, the city wasn't running. And uh, after that, uh, they never started production again and then the stills were dismantled and shipped for wrecking, for recycling of the copper. And then a North Irish man, uh, well, went to United Distillers and talked to them and well, after, finally he got the distillery uh, with the permission to produce 200,000 liters uh, per year not more, not to uh, have uh, competition from there. And uh, <clears throat> the pot stills were given back, put in place again, uh, and they started distillation, but the, well, the distillery never took off. Uh, I don't know why, probably uh, too few demand, uh, too few money to invest, and after several years of minimal output and minimal sales, uh, they decided, I think, to sell the distillery, uh, but no buyer appeared on the market. And after quite some years, uh, an Australian entrepreneur called David Pryor, he acquired the distillery and started production again with his master distiller, Ian Macmillan. And, uh, well, the first, uh, I think it's the first, I'm not quite sure, I think it's the first bottling uh, after the taking over of the distillery. No, probably not. They bought it in 2015, and then took time to, to start production. Uh, definitely this whiskey is not from the new period of production but from before and there is no age statement on the bottle. But color is quite good. Um, the bottle looks a lot better than the standard liquor bottles with these uh, weird labels of sheep and other 
uh, stuff. Uh, well, this one looks expensive. A thick bottom is a heavy bottle, uh, a metal stopper on top. So this is a gift. This is value for the 200 years uh, of Bladnock. It's called Samsara and uh, Samsara is the name of the cycle of the continuous rebirth uh, uh, in the Indish mythology of the uh, Hinduism and Buddhism. Yeah, so it's a cycle of rebirth and, well, three times rebirth, uh, the Black Note Distillery, and I think it's a good name for this bottle. Uh, and here they say Lowland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, uh, matured in Californian red wine and bourbon casks, non-chill filtered, 46.7 ABV, 700 milliliters, a salute to the rebirth of our 200-year-old distillery. Our award-winning master distiller Ian Macmillan hand selects every cask to bring together this luscious single malt, full-bodied and fragrant, with a rich core and lingering tail. A tribute to rare lowland single malt Scotch whiskey. And here in Galloway, yes, they are situated in Galloway, a wonderful tourist region of Scotland. A collection of dark stone buildings sit perched on the river Bladnock. With a rich history dating back to 1817, Bladnock is one of the oldest Scotch whisky producers in Scotland. For a distillery with a rich 200-year history, the Bladnock story is only just beginning. Yeah. Oh, the cork is very massive. Intense. There's a metal stopper cool with a plastic inlet with a cork. So this is definitely a good one. Smelling fruity. Oh, really good. And it's quite complicated to have this uh, decanter style uh, short top of a bottle and have a good cork for that. But this one is heavy and good enough uh, to have this bottle sealed. It's mixed fruits, medium to old, very complex in the fruity nose, with some, yeah, orange citrus zest. This should come from the distillery character. And this combines with the fruitiness of the California red wine casks to this complex fruity nose and there's a little vanilla in the back backing that up but I don't think that it's too old there are no weird noses uh, in it no yeah some vanilla yes appearing Full mouth filling in the beginning, sweet, then this uh, sourness of the citrus notes of the oranges go on my tongue. There's no bitterness at all. There's a little, little oakiness, it's weird oakiness. Is there a California oak? <laughs> no idea. It's not that bitter oak, it's not too spicy, but I think it's it's okay. Yeah. Now a little drier. The aftertaste is long, mouth filling. Very good one. There's nothing of of youthness left over in this whiskey. So they really selected the good casks, even if they do not dare to write an age statement on it.
really a good one. Now the spiciness of the oak is coming through. There's more in it. And uh, the last blood knocks from the old um, batches, I think they carry an age statement of 11, 12, 14 years. Um, so there might be, or there will be, some older whiskies in this. And the California red wines uh, will be, well, the younger part, but they give this additional fruitiness to the whiskey. Really a good one, yeah. Thank you very much for watching, stay tuned. There's, as always, more to come.